Okay, it's time for another dodgy one of my videos. Um, yes, Icarus version 1.1. Cannot contain my excitement for this thing. Um, it's absolutely brilliant. Um, not perfect. Nope, not perfect. Um, but it's uh, it's major step forward. Uh, so I'm going to. Do, do two or three videos now. I'm going to show you one which is the um, just the new bits in, in Icarus, and then I'm going to do a separate one which hopefully you'll look at, which is all about the new fan, absolutely amazing Janus UAE, which is an improvement on EUAE, which I was excited about before, but this one's even better. Fixes some of the problems, not all, but some of them. Um, I've done a couple of tweaks to the script, uh, Amy Bridge script, only tweaks, nothing major, but um, it seems to make that work a, a lot better. So um, let's have a look. Right, uh, I've got this one at 1024 768 just so that you can see a bit more of the screen. It will go up a lot higher, 1600, 1200, um, whatever you like, but keep it in 32 bit colour. Um, oh, just so you know, this is running on. I'm Ica. There you go, see that? Right, that's running. And just so you can actually see the performance of this thing, which a lot of people want to do. Right, so what's the first thing we show? Well, you can see here we've got something new. It's called Look Here. This is. Um, uh, <coughs> excuse me, a slideshow program. Um, if I exit out of this picture now, so now you can see we can pick a pick a drawer. I've actually got a um, graphics drawer open here. Click open, so we can click on viewer, and we can step through. Oop, <laughs> uh, she's very nice. Um, we can step through the pictures and have a look, see what we got. We can increase the size of the display, um, and we can also jump through. We don't want to see that, do we? Uh, let's do that one again. It's always a thing when I've got a mixture of files in the system. Uh, just jump through. Okay, let's open this one up. Um, it's a nice. It's actually written with Hollywood. This, but it, it does, as you saw, it does trip if it's a file that's actually not recognised. It comes up with a little message rather than just skipping to the next one. But having said that, it's a lovely little bit, a little bit of software for viewing all your images. Um, so as you can see, we can we can step through, jump up, go back in. We've also got a thumbnail viewer. Allows me to go. Oh, there's not many pictures in there, is there? Okay, so we go back out of here. We've also got a slideshow viewer. There we go. So that's got a automatic slideshow. Um, yeah. Now remember, this is running on Icarus, which is a 1.6 gigahertz ITX board system. And that's not too bad, if you ask me. But remember, that is running Hollywood, um, which is uh, a code in the multimedia system from Airsoft. Well worth it. I'm actually going to order it soon. A bit skin at the moment, but there you go. Um, there, so that's run that. Right, now, what else have we got that's new in here? Ah, oh, one of the best things about the new system. It's called AROS PDF. The old... PDF viewer, you know, it was okay, it, no, it wasn't really, it was alright, but it used to break it into the images and then you viewed it with um, pic show. This is a proper viewer, so now we can see we've actually loaded up the manual, and we can skip through the pages, and you can see it's pretty, pretty quick. Um, we can also change the best fit. So we can fit the width, etc. And that is really nice. I, mu I must admit that is really nice. Um, there's a new version of MPlayer. I'll give you a quick show of MPlayer. You won't notice a lot of difference. Uh, apparently, it runs DVDs. Although I, I must admit, either I've got the wrong version, um, or it doesn't. So, uh, but then again, I don't put many DVDs. Most of my movies are uh, converted to. Um, you probably remember this video. <laughs> you keep putting this one on. I don't know why. Uh, there we go. So that's absolutely brilliant. Also, it plays music as well. That's absolutely lovely. That is. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm hiding from that moment. I'm going to show you that in a second. We all know the OWB. Um, I had a couple of little glitches with that, which I'll come to in a second. Um, Paolo's put um, uh, this thing called web apps now, which is really good. So which is basically uh, shortcuts to uh, various websites, but things that are actually really useful, like Google Docs. Google Mail, etc. Um, oh, hang on. Uh, I wasn't going to show you that. I'm coming back to that. Um, obviously, the air costs. Um, 
Um, what else have we got in it? Oh, there's a load of stuff in here. There's, there's some extra games and bits and pieces. And the thing that's really nice, it's all tightened up. Um, it's, it's a lot more reliable. Um, it's not perfect, as I said before. Um, but it is, it is a lot more reliable. I've, I've actually got this working now, which is quite nice. It never used to work before. Um, so this is Hively Tracker for those that know it. Uh, it, all, it was corrupting before. So let me just turn it up actually. There you go. So um, the old tracker modules. Of course, there's still Milky Player and a few other bits and pieces. But right, really important. Everyone wants to see OWB. Now I've got it down here at the bottom, as you can see. But I'm I'm going to run it through the web apps after that bit of teasing. Now um, the problem I had with this was that um, I had a DNS problem. Um, you can see this loading really, this is going to load really quick, it's booting up, there you go, straight in. Um, and this this is a, a pretty fast little computer, it's not super fast, but um, you can see it's uh, it's pretty nice. Um, I had I had a problem with, um, I uh, had a DNS problem, uh, there's some information up on, as you, well, you can see on the screen actually, there's some information up on um, AROS exec. Hang on, let me just show you a site that I like. Yeah, I mean, I, that seems quick enough to me. Um, uh, I don't know about you, my technology pages. Here you go. Now, the BBC tends to be uh, a bit of a tricky one. It's a real test of um, good sites. Oh, so, sorry, good browsers. Um, and here we go. There's uh, BBC's website. It's actually a, t a 1024 display, so and I've only got my my display. So let me see if I can get that across full screen. So yeah, um, I think we'll find that. Uh, to be honest, that um, OWB is absolutely amazing. Uh, let's find a new site, something we all recognise. Here we go. Uh, do you know there's um, it's it is absolutely stunning. Um, let's open up another. Let's open up another browser. Okay. Um, <clears throat> there we go. And so. Bang. Uh, I don't think there's any problems with this. I mean, it, as I said, I had a problem before with just connect. It, it was working fine. It was just it was taking time to connect. Any time it went to a different site for anything, it was slow. But now, as you can see, it's really quick. Um, if you do have that problem, then just uh, uh, either email me or whatever. Okay, here's uh, here's my site. Um, just so you know, I've got a new site. I mean. Um, next year is the Amiga's 25th anniversary. Um, have a look at this site. Um, it's got some basic information at the moment, but you know, uh, bear in mind we're trying to put some things together, try and get people together in the Amiga community. Everyone's a little bit all over the place at the moment. Certain people are just, no, 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 the Amiga's this, got to be perfections. Oh, Jesus, like getting like religion, I'm afraid. Um, there's a few Amiga flavours out there. They can all work together, but they don't want to. Uh, I can't do nothing about that, so um, uh, we'll see what happens next year with the anniversary. Um, I'm concentrating on AROS because I do think it's the way forward. 